Hey gang, Ed here. And it's an important day today because today I just want to talk you through, I'm not going to show you anything, but I want to talk you through the measurements of the stats and how we use statistics, the, the data that we're getting to make some decisions. So by now, hopefully you've had some traffic to your site. Now, of course, the way to measure that is through your Google Analytics. We've shown you how to do that and set it up through WordPress Direct, or you've set it up yourself on your own site. Now, the first question we've got to ask is, have we had any traffic? Now, the answer is yes or no. If it's yes, great, we move on to the next step. If it's no, we're going to have to explore getting more links, getting doing more of the work that we've done in the last few days to get more traffic. We're also, of course, going to spend all of next week showing you a excellent targeted traffic source as well. So that's one of the things to keep in mind. So first step, do not pass go, do not click $200. Are you getting traffic to your page or not? If the answer is yes, good, let's move on to the next step. If the answer is no, we've got to go back. Where are we ranked in Google? Your, your rank tracker inside of Market Samurai will tell you exactly where you're at. And this is the cool thing about all this stuff. It's not emotional. It's looking at the data and seeing what we've got. And you've got to treat it like that. You've got to take great care and you've got to take great pride in what you're doing. But it's very important at the end of the day to take an unemotional look at the stats. You can't manage what you do not measure. Very important. Okay, so let's assume you've got traffic. The next most important thing is are they clicking on our offer? Because if people arrive to your site and they have a look around but they're not interested in clicking in the ad or clicking on the sticky post, how are you going to sell them anything? Okay, now there are two reasons for this. One, the market may not be interested in buying anything and sadly over the years I've had my fair share of those. Or two, maybe the product or offer that you have is just not interesting or the copy is not right on your ad. So again, we can't really know about the first situation that they're just not interested in clicking until we've done some more tests. So the next thing we want to have a look at is maybe we look at changing the product but we'll come back to that in a sec the next thing you've got to understand is you've got to have enough numbers to judge that if you haven't had a hundred visitors coming to your site you need to get more visitors before you make any decisions whatsoever okay that's very very important now as it starts to rain here please don't ruin my beautiful camera the second, see going outside sure it's interesting for you but I have to brave the elements instead of being inside my warm cozy office the second thing that we need to check for, of course, is if we've got that a number amount of traffic and they're not clicking on it, let's change the offer. And of course, now with Market Samurai, that's so easy. Swap out your module in the monetization module and go in and do another one. Just try a different test, but make sure you've had enough people actually seeing the ad before you do that. Give them at least 100 views. Now, in the happy circumstance that you are getting quite a few people uh, clicking on that, and when I say quite a few, 10, 20, 30% at the bottom end, 50% is awesome if you're getting that sort of levels, but at least double figures if you're at least getting 10%. Then, of course, the next magic question and the most important question is, did they actually buy anything? Now, if you've got people clicking through to your ad and they're not buying anything, they're obviously interested in looking at something, they're interested in looking at buying something, we obviously at that point need to swap out the offer and try something different. And of course, with the monetization module, that is so easy, it's not funny. So, that's where we're at today, and this is where we need to look at this analysis. Now, you may not be, as of day 17, you may not be in, you may not have had enough traffic yet, you may have not have had enough click-throughs, or all those sorts of things, but you need to start looking at that. You need to start to be prepared for that, and that's what we're doing today. So I want to make sure you understand that today we really need to keep continuously looking at the data, and as long as we've got enough data, as long as we've got, you know, 100 or so people have come to our site, we can start to look at some decisions. So today, what are our key points? How many people are coming to the site? Point one, that's we need to know that. Two, how many people are just clicking on our offer? And three, is anybody actually accepting the offer? Are they actually buying our stuff? Now, at this point, somebody may actually have made their first dollar, which would be brilliant. But this is going to happen at some point in time. And remember, all of next week, we've got this incredible new traffic generation system coming at you that we're going to be showing you so there's plenty of other options google ranking is not the only way so with that we'll leave you to it and see you at the next day all right speak soon okay now we've talked about all of that of course 
the lads from Market Samurai have, of course, made this even easier for you. Because in the monetization module here, in fact, I'll click this off. In the monetization module, which is just totally awesome, look at what they've just dropped in here for you in the latest version. And you might have to close and open your Market Samurai, because if you're like me, you have Market Samurai pretty much open all the time. I'm just hoping they build in a Play World of Warcraft module, which would be good. If you could have World of Warcraft in there on the side window, that'd be just like totally awesome. Then I'd never have to leave. So look at this. Just as I've said in the video, look at this. We've got a business metrics calculator, which is fantastic. So let's say we have had 120 impressions. Of those, the number of clicks represents the number of people who have clicked on the ad. Let's say 27. And if we have had one sale, which is fantastic, and if it's a Amazon product, we'll make maybe 54 cents. <laughs> and click on tab and check that out. It gives us our click-through rate, 22.5%, not too bad. Conversion rate, very good at 3.7%. Website conversion rate is 0.8% overall, which is great. And, of course, that's too low to get a value per click. If we change that to, say, $10, you'd see every click is worth 37 cents. And this is, you know, when you build a $97 product where you're making, say, you know, $86, all of a sudden you can see the value per click and the value per visitor. This is really important because it tells you if you're doing pay-per-click campaigns or any other sort of advertising that involves money, you can see where your profit margins is. And, of course, the good old boys from Market Samurai have, of course, built this in to Market Samurai. How good are they? There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed day 17. It's a light one. And remember, that for me, the golden rule on day 17 is please make sure you're dealing with enough traffic in the first place. So many people make the mistake of making a decision with the tiniest amount of traffic. You need some traffic. You need some more pages, some more articles and so on to build up to over that 100 unique visitors. All right, folks, there you have it. Have fun. Speak soon.